Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Raven Sky, Organic Kitchen Living, and uh, I wanted to um, start this video um, with the, I still don't know what this is called. All I know it's important and it goes on. <laughs> I don't have a name for it. I don't know what the hell it is. It just is what it is. It's, it, it goes on top of the grow tower and it's where the water goes down and feeds the top of the mountain, top of the tree. So yes, I don't know what the name of this is. I don't have a technical name for it. I just built it and that's, you know, there's a function to it. So um, the other night, I, uh, the other night I came back um, late and went ahead and um, finished building the um, irrigation that goes actually into the, that goes into the top and fills this up and uh, drips the water down. So uh, real quick, I wanted to show you something because I made a modification, oops that down there for a second so I'm gonna take this off real quick and uh, I made a modification to remember one of my last videos I was talking about how um, I, I didn't I wasn't really crazy about I wasn't really crazy about having um, this tube just going down through one of these you know th through through one of these um, uh, plugs because the tube was gonna be angled you know, shooting to the side or something like that. There was no like, there wasn't anything fix it, uh, fixing it, uh, fixing it straight. So what I did is I actually took the little little the little plug that's in here, this one here, and I cut away the. Put that down for a second, and. Oh man, that thing fell off. Okay, well it's. Okay, so what I did is I, I cut the lip off of this just using the um, those scissors that I had. And you, and you can use really anything to cut it off. So I cut that lip off all the way around it, all 360 degrees. And then, um, and then I pushed it, oops, and then I pushed it down, oh, I would say about an inch and a half. So you can see where I cut around the edges and stuff. And there's a hole in the center. And then I got another, um, I got another plug and I took a second plug and put a hole in the center of it. And I left the, the top on here. And so, so just sit down here for a second. And you can probably hear the helicopter above me. They've been circling around for circling around for about the last 15, 20 minutes. Um, I was doing some uh, deliveries earlier and there were a bunch of cops running around. I think they were uh, after somebody. So they were doing all those maneuvers they do, track people down. So I think that's what that is. Uh, so, uh, I got the, the I got the, the quarter inch tubing pushed through here, as you can see. And then what you wanna do is push that down to the center like that. Push this, this little tubing right down the center of this one. And then you pop this one in and that'll hold it in place. So now, if we if this was clear, you would be able to see that there's now a an inch and a half stabilization, so it's going straight. It's actually pointing straight down inside of here. So that was the purpose of that. That was the modification we went ahead and um, went ahead and did. And this again, this pops right back up in here. And then uh, the next thing that we're going to do. Um, Let's not pay attention to that. This was something I jerry-rigged because I just wanted to see if the if the pump would work. So I didn't, and I actually didn't have the barb that I needed, which I'm gonna show you here in a second. Pick it up off the ground. So, I got this little tool right here, and this little tool, God damn. keep dropping these things. So this little tool right here, what that's designed to do is to pop a hole right into this tubing which we're gonna go ahead and do anyways because this doesn't work that was just something I something I did to see if the irrigation would work so this little tool uh, you can find it um, I think it's a rainbird product and uh, it's right with the irrigation stuff at HD and it's really simple you just kind of pop this in here and we should probably do it right in the middle so you push that down in there so that pops in, makes a little hole, and then this is the part that's a little tricky because I don't have the pair of pliers. Or pair of pliers, but this is um, this is called a barb, and it's got this little barb on the bottom where the the water goes in, and it's supposed to be self um, self tapping, but you don't want to try doing that. It's not fun. It doesn't work that well. 
So this goes in here. If I can push it in with one hand. No, I can't. So I'll just cut that out. Cut that out of the video here in a second. All right, so I got a pair of pliers and there's actually a tool you can buy to pop these in, but we're just using a pair of pliers. We don't need the tool right now. So I'm going to push this in. If I can, there we go, so it pops in. All right, now we got that little barb there. And the next thing we got to do is we gotta take this little um, quarter inch tubing and this goes in the barb like this. That will make it stay for sure. So now the water is going to, the water is actually gonna be coming up right through here, uh, going past the elbow, and then it'll be going to the quarter inch tube, which will then be feeding this. And I left a lot of uh, extra tubing here in case I needed to adjust something or if I wanted to push this down further. Or um, it's always best to leave extra tubing no matter you know where you're doing your cuts and then uh, when you're doing your final product uh, you can make the you know you can make adjustments or uh, stuff of that nature uh, this is actually a, um, a uh, an umbrella drip tip for out uh, there for water irrigation and I've got to uh, I'm gonna have to take this out and I got a little plug that I'm gonna put in there so um, you can disregard what this thing is. You know, this is not really part of the build out. It was, like I said, just something I jerry rigged um, earlier. Okay, so the onto the next thing here. So uh, at some point here, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and put the. I decided to go ahead and just go ahead and build out the, um, you know, build out the whole system uh, um, uh, here in the. Uh, uh, in, the, in the tent house that I'm, that I'm in. And the reason why is because I've got to do a, I've got to do a lot of testing still with the uh, water system, not only with this, but I've got to put that, that timer that I showed you in the last video. I've got to put this on there as well. And then on top of that, once this is um, complete, then um, I've got to, uh, I've got a bunch of seeds, lettuce seeds that I've got to plant anyways, and that'll be part of the, uh, part of the next, uh, I guess the next chapter of the uh, Grow Tower build out. And we're, that's going to take, uh, I don't know, we'll find out exactly how long it's going to take. But, uh, so yeah, the, the growing or the sprouting of the, of the lettuce seeds are going to take a little bit. Uh, I haven't had a huge success with them in the past. Uh, trying to sprout the grow seeds they're a little bit difficult sometimes and you'll see as the process goes along why it's a little bit different why it's a little bit difficult so um so yeah you're gonna learn here with me so i would think probably maybe in the next oh i don't know two weeks or so two or three weeks the um the lettuce will be uh, the lettuce will have uh, roots so we can actually pull them out of the rock wool and pop them into the tubes and uh we'll, we'll get to that process um you know soon so, um, so yeah, once I get this all built out here and the pump is working and we're going to do a video on the timer, how to use the timer, cause you're going to need that. And then we'll start, uh, you know, of course I'll do a, a full, um, you know, full video on how the thing works and show you everything. And then, um, we'll go on to chapter two on building out the grow tower. So, um, I'm going to try to get this hooked up here and maybe we can throw some water at it and see if it goes. All right, guys, be back in a minute. All right, so I got the uh, I got the pump inside the water, and the it's currently unplugged. Okay, so I did I was looking around for an on-off switch for the uh, uh, um, for the pump, and it does not have one. It actually ha it has a sensor, so when it goes into the water, it then turns on. So I had to unplug it, otherwise this thing would be spilling out water. Uh, make sure when you're doing this, you leave um, this hose here. Make sure you leave a lot of room for this hose, like cut you know what I mean like I don't know how long this is two and a half two feet at least two feet two and a half feet so I cut a hole you know I cut it longer than what I actually needed it so I'm gonna pop it in here I don't have to do it with two hands but this is going in here and you can see I've still got another oh I don't know six or seven inches worth of uh, piping in here because eventually when I take this and go put it out in the garden or wherever I'm putting it I'm gonna have to make a cut and then I'm gonna to have to splice it back together, um, de depending on where I put it. That's so I can move the whole thing around. So give me one second, and we're gonna go ahead and pop this in. Now 
that's been put in there. So I think we're good to go. Uh, so let's figure out what we're gonna do next. All right, so uh, the next thing I'm gonna do here is I also bought some cheesecloth uh, from HD. Uh, it was like $3, three and a half dollars. And I cut off, not very much, because I don't think you really need much. I don't know, it looks about like eight inches maybe. And um, then I've got these little uh, little miniature zip ties that I'm gonna use. And uh, we're going to wrap this, probably fold it over like this. And then we're gonna wrap this part over top of the, um, over top of this, this one I hear. That one, which goes from the reservoir. We're gonna put that on here. Uh, one thing I'm not exactly sure about is how long this will last in there. Um, I'm not sure if it's gonna get uh, moldy or if it's going to, you know, cause any problems as far as the contaminating. You know, once the water's been going through it for a while, uh, we will also find out about that because we'll be able to see whether it's stuff is growing on it or anything weird like that. Uh, but at first I wanted to do this to, um, to clean out the system because what's gonna happen is when I turn this pump on, uh, all the, um, any debris that um, from the construction of this, uh, from the PVC, and even maybe, I doubt, I doubt the, um, the irrigation tubing is gonna have any debris in it, but it may. Uh, this, will, this will catch all the debris that comes out initially to kind of clean out the system. And then we'll probably switch over to the, um, the paint strainer, um, the paint strainer method. So for now, I'm just gonna uh, zip tie this on there and then it'll be easy to pull off once I get a couple zip ties on there. So uh, I'm gonna get that on there and then we'll check back. All right, so I got the cheesecloth wrapped around here with a little zip tie, and I, like I said before, this is will, this will pop off real easy. And um, the other thing I hadn't quite done yet was, I'm not even sure if I need to do it right now, but um, maybe I won't do it now. But this, I'm, I'm definitely going to be zip tying this, uh, securing it to, I don't know, somewhere here. I'm not really sure. But it's not absolutely necessary right now, but that's, that is something you will want to do at some point. And I got to make sure this little plug is pushed in there for the, uh, the irrigation, or I'm sorry, the, the reservoir where the water empties out. So that should be pretty tight. So at this point, uh, we are actually ready to just go ahead and plug in the, plug in the pump and see what the results are. So we will plug this in and this thing should just start pumping immediately. And oh crap, I forgot. <laughs> so as soon as I turn this on, this thing here is just going to start spouting water. So I need to fix this real quick. Uh, I'll be right back. All right, now I got that uh, plug. I got the, uh, the hole plugged up. So we are going to plug this in. And you're going to see it happen live. It's turned on. I can hear it going all the way up. Uh, well, this is interesting going on here I know the plug is not working that well so we're gonna have to fix that I can hear it running though I can see water running down inside of here can you see that yes we do in fact have liftoff on the water and it looks like it's dripping pretty decently down yep see no this is what I'm looking for you can see right here the water that's in the, the top part uh, the top part of this right there we want to have water dripping off of that and the reason why is because it's like this net cup oh the net cup even demonstrates it better so look at the net cup you can tell that it's already getting the little drips of water on it and that's what we're looking for because that is going to be the nutrients that the rock wool um, with the little sprout in it is going to be sucking up and we don't want to over, we don't want to oversaturate it, although it's not really going to hurt it. But the other thing I'm probably going to do is here, turn this off real quick. So in order to get more water dripping on the rock well, I'm actually going to push the cup in manually. We can do this with one hand. Kind of pop it in there a little further. I can do that. Yeah, it kind of works. There. So I pushed it in manually. 
So I haven't done any modifications to the net cup. So you can see the net cup is, well, let me see if I can figure it out here. So the net cup is, ooh, here we go. So up top, it's secure up top, and then I kind of pushed it in. You can see how I've pushed it in the bottom part. And what that's done, it's raised the, the back of the net cup higher, and um, it's actually collecting more water. You can see the water dripping in to the net cup. That's what we're looking for right there. That's the water we're looking for. So um, what I'm, the next thing I'm probably gonna need to do is uh, I need to duplicate this process with all of them. So I'm gonna get all my net cups and pop them all in each one of, each one of these. And then uh, we'll take a look and see if all of these holes are getting, so that's even getting water. See right down in there. So yeah, we need to make sure all of these are getting their water. And then I want to show you the, uh, this is what happens. This is the kind of problem you're gonna have if uh, you don't secure your uh, irrigation properly, like, like I did. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with that yet. I'll probably just use, um, maybe use some Gorilla Glue and just Gorilla Glue all the way around it because I don't want it to rip this whole component apart. So I'll get it, wait till it's dry and I'll just put a bunch of Gorilla Glue around it and that will probably seal it up for now because you can see it's running right down the side here. So yeah, we don't want to be putting random holes in there. So um, looking back at the, yeah, it looks like it's recirculating. It's not coming out really fast or anything from the, the cheesecloth. But you can tell it's dripping because it's making little waves in the water. So yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely working. The pump is on. You can hear it. Can you hear that, guys? Dripping down in there, it's kind of cool. It was really exciting to see this. It's working down in there. Cool. That's what I'm looking for. That's what we're looking for, guys. And I don't see any other drips. I don't see any other water coming out anywhere. Let me turn that off so you can see it better. But yeah, there's uh, everything seems to be sealed up well enough. There's no water coming out of anywhere else that I can tell. Except for that little spot right there. So awesome. That's great. So, you guys got to witness the uh, build out of the grow tower, which was um, very interesting. We still got a couple little kinks to work out. Uh, next on the list is the uh, the timer. So, I think I got a little bit of time. I can sit here and maybe put it together and figure out how that works. I got to hook that up to the, um, you know, to the, I got to plug that in and then, I don't know, I'll figure it out and then we'll check back later. Uh, this is Raven Sky Organic Kitchen Living. Um, if you guys want to support the channel, I have a link in the uh, description down here for Amazon so you can do your shopping using that. And uh, we'll come back and uh, see what's going on later. Everybody, peace out.